In this video, I'm going to show you one quick and easy way to use conditional formatting in order to kind of uh, highlight some of the records that you have in your data set based on some criteria. For example, I have this particular um, set of data here that I put into a form, and it's nothing more than my order details. And I have a tag here that basically telling me if the order is filled or not. If it's not filled, it's zero, and if it's filled, it's one. And you'll see that I can go through here and some of zero and some are a one. And in order for me to be able to uh, better see this, I can go ahead and utilize conditional formatting to highlight whether some of these are zero or one. So I'm going to do a couple things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into, into a continuous form and then I'm going to do uh, set up my conditional formatting uh, to highlight the orders that have not been filled. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, go into the properties of this form and the default view, I'm going to make the default view continuous form. Okay, And then I'm going to add a form header and take all these titles and bring them up to the form header. That way my form header doesn't repeat over and over and over. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to select the uh, particular piece of information that I'm going to use as the criteria, whether it's filled or not filled. And that's basically the uh, item here called filled. And this is either a 0 or a 1 based on my data structure. So I can go ahead and here click uh, Format, Conditional Formatting and this conditional formatting dialog box opens up and for those of you that have used Excel before this is kind of the same concept uh, I've got three options field value is expression is and field has focus and so what I'll do here is I'll say field value is because I want to base my conditional uh, formatting on the value of the field and the value of the field has to be less than one okay if it's less than one then I want to basically highlight it with some uh, color here and I'm going to say uh, I'm going to highlight it to this particular format. Okay? And then I'll press OK. So now if we stop here and we play the form and see it in runtime, you'll notice that every record that has not been filled or every order that has not been filled is tagged with the conditional formatting that we specified based on this fill text box. So now let's go ahead and take it a step further and do some simple formatting that will give this allude the illusion of the whole line being uh, formatted. And it's really simple to do. Uh, what we do here is we take this fill text box and we change some of the formatting features on it. We'll make the outline this dark gray here Okay, and we'll drag it out and expand it a little bit. Then we'll take these other text boxes. We're going to go right here, right click on it, and uh, cut. Right click on the detail and hit paste, and then drag it on top here. And then we're going to change all this stuff to transparent. Transparent, and then we'll make this one uh, black. This is fine. So now we can start formatting this filled text box around these other text boxes here. And then we align it back to the headers up top here. All right. And let's go ahead and see how that looks. If I play this here. Okay, this looks okay. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, the actual text for the fill text box is now on the right. We need to fix that here. And we can do that simply by clicking on the text box here and hitting left. And here's the final result. A nice looking form that allows us to quickly and easily identify those records or orders that haven't been filled. And this is just one very basic example of how you can use conditional formatting to add some dimension and functionality to your forms.